All right, so this is month four of jujitsu. I started looking for schools back in February, and now June is done. So I guess technically we're almost on month five. Um, and this has been a really rough week. I've struggled with some injuries and mental blocks, and it's also been rough in the work department. So I went through my normal strategies of coping with that kind of thing which i'm going to share with you because i think they're really helpful and if you don't have your own established baseline coping strategies then you struggle more than you need to so i'm going to share those and then i want to share something that uh, i pulled out for the first time in a long time um, that i'm so grateful to have that i took entirely for granted when it first came around um, and I hope that it's helpful for you and I hope that it inspires you to do something similar for other people. So the first things I do when I, whenever I'm really hung up on something, and by hung up I mean I just can't seem to get myself to do anything that I need to do in other areas of my life because I'm too focused on this thing, okay? Um, so the first thing I do is make sure I'm hydrated, fed, but not overfed. Um, make sure I've had some kind of strenuous physical activity and make sure I'm clean. So that means I would take a couple of hours and have a really good workout, drink a bunch of water, um, take a shower in the steam room, like a full scrub down, get everything kind of shower, um, and then have a steak, a baked potato, some vegetables, and maybe a little bit of chocolate. And once I get done with all that, I'm gonna feel pretty good. I might still have, you know, this nagging, lingering thing, but physiologically, I'm gonna be sound, and that helps so much. Uh, once I'm done with that, if I'm still thinking about it and I can't let it go, and I didn't have some flash of insight or clarity during the physical activity or the physical cleansing, which th those will happen, um, then I'll sit down and write out whatever it is I'm struggling with. Um, sometimes there will be points of clarity that come up from that, but mostly it's just an exercise in condensing the problem to something manageable, All right? So we've ironed ourselves out physically, and then you articulate the problem. And then once I'm done with that, if I'm still struggling, then I'll take it to someone else that I trust. Usually this is a really close friend or a family member. Um, this needs to be the kind of person that you want to share good news with when it comes around. This is not the kind of person that you go to to gossip or um, make small talk. This is someone that you're really close with who has your best interests at heart. And those people are rare and I treasure them so much and you know who you are and I love you for it. Okay. Um, a lot of times that friend is going to be able to help you reframe whatever it is you're struggling with in such a way that you can focus on which parts of the struggle are contributing to your long-term goals in a positive way. Um, a lot of times I'll also get this reframing part during the written portion. Um, so for example, being hurt has allowed me to cross train in ways that I wouldn't have considered it before. So for example, I'm running miles at a time for the first time in years. And that feels so good. There are things that you discover about your body from doing different physical activities. Um, there are different kinds of endorphins that get released from different activities. So there's a lot of joy to be had in the cross training and it makes me a more well-rounded athlete. And I'm able to look at that and say, all right, the time off that I'm taking for injury is in the short term um, a really small negative compared to how much I'm growing in the long term. Okay. Um, now, these steps one through three, the taking care of yourself physically, the writing it out, and the talking to a friend, um, that's kind of a wash, rinse, repeat cycle. Okay. You're going to do it once, it's not it. You're going to have to come back and do it multiple times. Um, but the more you do it, the better you get at it, and the more improvement you'll see from each time that you practice it. But let's say you've done that a few times and you're still really struggling. 
I feel so fortunate. I have a, I have a bucket full of handwritten cards that people have given me over the years. And I'd say half the cards in there are from the same people. Um, that's, I mean, that, those are the people that, re that really matter. Um, and the one I want to share today is from my dad's mom. Uh, she has passed. Uh, she's, she was just a total firecracker. Um, people who didn't like her would say that she was bossy and a control freak and um, opinionated and loudmouthed. Those are probably the worst things you could say about her. Um, and some of the best were that she, she never stopped loving. She saw the best in everyone and she knew how to speak to the best in everyone to bring it out. I remember when I got this card because every time I got mail at OCS, the waterworks went off. Like it wasn't a choice. There wasn't anything I could do about it. Um, it didn't matter who it was from. Just the fact that you were getting mail in that circumstance was huge. And I remember also being angry about the people who didn't send me mail that I thought should have. And I remember getting this and feeling that anger melt away entirely because it became, in light of what she wrote me, completely irrelevant to why I was there or what I was doing or where I wanted to go. So she took the habits of highly effective people and condensed it all into one card, all right? So there's, there's on the inside here and then there's a little on the back. And I've got it in the Ziploc to preserve it. I think um, along with some other cards I have, I'll go get them laminated here in the next couple weeks. Um, but I wanna go through what she's broken down. She's got a little intro. Value systems are built on character, not personality. Uh, that hit really hard for me because I took it to mean that a lot of times the people who are initially the most fun to be around or the most magnetic or the most charismatic, um, they aren't necessarily the people who are on purpose or have your best interests at heart or um, are going to contribute most to the world around them, especially in the long term. Uh, and I suppose that's something that most people realize with age, but this was the first time it was really articulated to me. In spite of the fact that I had read the book, okay? I read Seven Habits of Highly Effective People when I was, oh God, I don't know, 13 or 14. That's all I did in my adolescent years was read. And I guess without much life experience at that age, that kind of literature just doesn't sink in. There's nothing for it to really grab onto. But by the time I had gotten this, I had a little more there. And looking back, I appreciate it even more now. So value systems are built on character, not personality. Character is what matters inside and out. Freedom, power, ability, and capacity will help you choose how to respond in any given situation. No matter the circumstance, take responsibility for your life. Um, how I interpreted that is no matter what's going on, I do my best to only focus on the next actionable step because no matter what you process and what conclusion you come to mentally and emotionally, the only thing that matters, the only thing that ends up being manifested is the next step that you take. And every action brings a little more clarity. Plan your mission statement for your life. Write it out. Begin with the end in mind. That's really interesting considering that I just finished saying the only thing that matters is the next action, actionable step. Um, so having the end in mind, what I took this to mean and how I try to break it down isn't where exactly do I want to be, but who exactly do I want to be. And so I choose the things that I do based on what I think they will make of me not what I'm trying to get out of them. Begin your program and make a promise to keep it. Build integrity in yourself. 
reading that was the first time I understood what confidence was. Um, I think on social media especially, confidence is so much about how you look and how you carry yourself and how comfortable you are in your skin and what you think other people, how they perceive you. Um, but for me, confidence is doing the things that I tell myself I'm going to do. The more I do the things that I've promised myself I'm going to do, the more confident I am. And that means that I am always competing against procrastination. That's okay. Think win-win out of a sense of joy and character and confidence in yourself. Build your life on the value systems that form your character. Seek to understand before seeking to be understood. <laughs> if you're frustrated about something, if you're frustrated about something, this fucking mosquito, I got it, I fucking got it. Okay, if you're frustrated about something and you uh you feel like you need to explain yourself about it no 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 no. we stop we back up we ask questions and by the time you have a firm grasp of however the other person or people or dynamic is you're probably going to be a lot less frustrated and you're also going to be ex able to express your frustration in a way that is productive instead of dumping be empathetic Hang on to relationships, keep them. Have compassion because your security is within you. Learn to be able to forgive or apologize. Be creative, find solutions to a problem. Negotiate and cooperate. The whole is greater than the individual parts. Begin with yourself. Develop a positive outlook and energy that is hopeful in order to be constructively helpful in any given situation. Let me tell you, I have met very few people who make anything that they touch or any situation that they're in better. Those people are rare and it's just, it's, it's pure gold. And it takes time to recognize them. You don't recognize them the first time you see them because it doesn't jump out at you like the looks or the charisma or the charm. Um, it comes out slowly over time. I know a few of those. My, gra my grandma was one of those. I am praying for you. I love you. Grandma Hackett. I think that might be the first time I've read this through without crying. So, um, write cards. Write cards because they can change people's lives. <laughs>